Good morning, good morning, good morning, all of my morning glory people. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We're here. <laughs> good morning to you all. Y'all come on in with me this morning. Come on in. And as you come in, come on in and share the video. Share, share, share to all of uh, the groups that you are a member of. Share and on your personal page and start a watch party and all that good stuff. I'm so excited to be on here with y'all this morning. So excited to be here with y'all. I, I truly, truly counted a blessing. It's a privilege. It's an honor to um, be doing the work of my father. To be, to be used. Just to be used by God for the work of the kingdom. It's an honor and it's a privilege. And I'm just so humbled and I'm just so thankful this morning. I'm, I'm humble. I'm humble every day. But for some reason today, I don't know what God is about to do. But I mean, I feel extremely humbled in my spirit. Like I feel whenever when I go to feeling like this, I know God is about to do something big. He about to do something big. I know my father and I know how he moves. I know how he operates. And whenever he's about to do something huge, something big is about to happen in the earth realm. Something big is about to happen. Y'all excuse that noise. My neighbor has a, a Mustang and it when he gets up in the morning, it wakes up the whole neighborhood. So y'all come on in, come on in with me. I'm just excited. I'm excited about what God is doing. He's moving. He's breaking chains. I hear the chains falling on this morning. Glory be to God. Y'all come on in, just take these first uh, two to three minutes and go ahead and share and let's get all that housekeeping stuff out the way. So we can hear what thus saith the Lord. Let's get all this stuff out of the way. Y'all share, tag, invite. Get everybody in here. Because y'all know what I told you yesterday. I had to shorten the dosage of the antibiotics. <laughs> so come on up in here this morning. I ain't going to hold you long. So you got to come on and get in here. Come on, get in here and get your spiritual antibiotics for the day. Don't you be taking your antibiotics and then you stop now because you know what happens. <laughs> you know what happens when you start taking them antibiotics. And as soon as you get to feeling good, mm -hmm, you get to going a little bit, you feeling good. You're like, I'm good. <laughs> I don't need no more antibiotics. The devil is a lie. Yes, you do. Because that infection is not gone. Come on, somebody. That infection is still laying dormant in your body. Glory be to God. And God said, you got to finish these antibiotics this morning, baby. You got to take the whole dose. Oh, my God. You can't take a little bit and think you're going to be all right. You can't come hear the word every now and then and think that's going to get you through the rest of your life. That's going to get you through the rest of your year. No. That infection is going to come back again. Do you understand me? Glory be to God. Everybody that's watching on Facebook, I need y'all to do your due diligence. I need you to push the word of God out there. I need you to flood the earth with the word. I need you to let the people of God know that God is moving this morning. <clears throat> God is moving. God is moving. God is moving. 
Glory be to God. Let the people of God know that God is moving. Y'all come on in and share, share, share. Tag and invite. Invite some new people that you haven't invited before. Tag some new people that you have not tagged before. <coughs> God is doing a new thing. He's doing a new thing. He's doing a new thing. Good morning, good morning, good morning to all of my wonderful people. I love y'all so much. I love you all so much. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Y'all come on in, come on in, come on in. To everybody that's watching from work, thank you for tuning in from work. <coughs> thank you so much for tuning in from work. Glory be to God. Thank you for getting up out of your bed. <laughs> thank you for getting up out of your bed. Thank you for joining me this morning. Thank you for pushing. Because <coughs> I know many of you had to push. <laughs> You had to push. So I want to thank you for pushing. Thank you for pushing. Thank you for pushing and thank you for pressing. Glory be to God. Thank you for pushing and thank you for pressing. Because you got to press to get to the blessing. Y'all know what we say all the time. It's not going to fall in our lap. We got to press. <laughs> we got to press. Y'all come on in here this morning. And as you come in, I want you to comment below. Say, I'm pressing to you. I'm pressing. <laughs> I know you're pressing because you own this live right now. And I know that the enemy does not want you to get this word. He does not want you, come on somebody, to seek the kingdom of God. So just the fact that you own this live right now, glory be to God. That let me know right now that you're pressing, baby. Oh my God. I want to congratulate you for pressing your way. Mm -hmm. I want to congratulate you for dropping those things that are behind you and for pressing forth on this morning. I want to congratulate you. Every single person that's coming in right now, I need you to share this live. I need you to share this live and I need you to flood the earth with the word of God. Glory be to God. Flood the earth with the word of God. <laughs> I hear the spirit of the living God say, my people cannot be moved. <laughs> you cannot be moved. Do you understand me? You got to be steadfast, unmovable, always abiding in the works of the Lord. Oh my God. You got to stand still. Do you understand me? Some of you that are on this live, you've been going here, going there, going here, going there. You've been trying to figure this out. You've been trying to figure that out. You've been working over here. You've been working over there. You've been doing this. You've been doing that. You've been running yourself raggedy. But I hear the spirit of the living God say, stand still. Ooh. Somebody comment on this live, baby. Say, I'm standing still. <laughs> I'm standing still, devil. You ain't finna have me running around like a chicken with my head cut off. I'm standing still. I'm gonna stand still. Y'all comment on this live. Say, I'm standing still. I'm gonna stand still and I shall see the salvation of the living God. Glory be to God. I'm going to stand still and I'm going to watch God work this whole situation out for me because I hear the chains falling. Oh, my God. I can hear the chains falling. I ain't talking about with your natural ear, baby. I'm talking about with your spiritual ear. I need you to open up your spiritual ears on this morning. Glory be to God because I hear the chains falling. Y'all comment on this live. Say, I can hear the chains falling. Glory be to God. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, I pray for these, your people right now. Glory be to God. God, I pray that you will heal them. I pray that you will deliver them. And I pray that you will set them free. Father, I thank you right now because I can hear the chains falling off of your people. I feel the bondage being released off of your people. God, I thank you right now because your people are walking out of Egypt. God, I thank you right now because your people are washing their face. Glory be to God. They have made up in their mind that they want to serve you. They have made up in their mind, God, that they want to live for you. And God, right now, everything that has been holding them back, everything that's been keeping them captive, I pray for your people right now, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you for freeing your people, Father God. Bless your people. Glory be to God. I speak blessings over every one of you. Do you understand me? Every single person under the sound of my voice, I speak blessings
blessings over you, love. I speak healing over you. Oh my God. I speak life over you this morning. I declare and I decree that the chains that the enemy has had you in bondage with, they falling off of you this morning. Do you understand me? That curse is being broken off of you. Glory be to God. That curse is being broken off of your family. Do you understand me? I hear the chains falling on this morning. Glory be to God. Somebody come in on this live and say, I am free. Mm. The Bible says, he whom the Son sets free is truly free indeed. Glory be to God. I hear the spirit of the living God say, tell my people that they are free. Mm. God said, woman of God, I need you to get up this morning. I need you to get up this morning. And I need you to get on this live. I need you to get on this broadcast. Glory be to God. I need you to push it all over the world. Because God said, I got somebody. Oh, my God. He said, I got a child overseas that's in bondage. Oh, my God. God said, I got some children in the United States that's in bondage. Do you understand me? He said, I got some children in Kenya. They are in bondage. Oh, my God. God said, I need you to get up here on this public broadcast. Oh, my God. I need you to get up here on this live broadcast. And God said, I need you to let my people know that the chains are falling off of them this morning. Let them know that I have set them free. Glory be to God. Let them know that I have sent my son to give his life. Oh, my God. To give his life as a ransom. Oh, my God. Let them know that they no longer have to live in captivity. They no longer have to live in bondage. Because he whom the son sets free. Oh, my God. Is truly free indeed. Do you understand me? God said the truth is coming forth this morning. Oh my God. I hear the spirit of the living God say, don't you reject the truth. Mm -hmm. It might hurt you, baby, but one thing about the truth, it going to set you free. Glory be to God. Somebody come in on this line say, the truth shall set you free. Mm. Y'all know we tell, we tell people all the time, just tell me the truth. <laughs> just tell me the truth, knowing that when we really hear the truth, it's going to hurt us. Oh, my God. It's going to sting us in our spirit when they speak that truth to us. But God said you need to hear the truth this morning. Do you understand me? You need to hear the truth to be able to put the past in the past. You need to hear the truth to be able to go forth in God. It's going to hurt. But God said anything. He said you got to go through this little pain now. Pain is but for a season. Glory be to God. But you shall be glorified with your father in heaven forever. Do you understand me? God said, I'm long suffering. Glory be to God. He said, I will suffer with you so that we may be glorified together. No pain, no gain. Do you understand me? I hear the spirit of the living God say, tell my people, no pain, no gain. Mm. He said, if you want gain in my kingdom, you got to go through the process. Oh my God. Must Jesus bear the cross alone and all the world go free. Glory be to God. The song said, no baby, there's a cross for everybody and there's a cross for me. Mm -hmm. He loves me, but guess what? I still got to bear my cross. Glory be to God. I stopped by to let you know on this morning, baby, for morning glory that God loves loves you. Oh my God. God loves you, baby. If you were the only one down here, he still would have sent his son to come and die for you. Glory be to God. God said, tell my children that I love them. But he said, tell them they got a cross that they got to bear. Glory be to God. No pain, no gain. Y'all come in on this live, baby. Say no pain, no gain. I done learned so much about life. I done figured out if it don't hurt me, glory be to God. If it don't cause some pain in my life, if I ain't got to struggle for that thing, I don't want it. Glory be to God. Easy come, easy go. Do you understand me? Y'all comment on this live, baby. Say easy come, easy go. Glory be to God. Easy come, easy go. So tell the devil, you can keep that stuff. Oh, my God. You can keep that quick fix. Do you understand me? That quick fix might feel all right for my body right now. Oh, my God. But I need something for my soul. Come on, somebody. I don't need that quick fix mess that's going to heal my, going to make me feel good in my body for a moment. I need something that's going to heal my soul. Glory be to God. Y'all comment on this live. Say, heal my soul, Jesus. Oh, my God. He came to heal you this morning, baby. God said the souls of my people are broken. Mm. God said the souls of my people are in torment. Me. Mm. God said you're being tormented day and night. Do you understand me? God said, why are you sitting down here in bondage? I feel the spirit of the living God. Why are you sitting in bondage, baby, when the Lord has set you free? Oh, my God. All you got to do is reach up and grab it. Do you understand me? I hear the spirit of the living God say, whatever you need this morning, it's in the atmosphere. Glory be to God. All you got to do is reach up and grab your stuff, baby. It's in the atmosphere. Y'all comment on this live, baby. Say it's in the atmosphere. Oh my God, it's in the atmosphere. You mean to tell me that I've been sitting down here 
in bondage. Oh my God. You mean to tell me I've been sitting down here in captivity. I've been sitting down here in Egypt and the Lord put my stuff in the atmosphere. Oh my God. You better reach up and grab it, baby. Do you understand me? Somebody said, how do I grab it? Toya, I'm glad you asked, baby, because I'm finna tell you. Glory be to God. You grab it by faith. Do you understand me? Because the Bible says now faith is the substance of things hoped for and it is the evidence of things that are not seen. You got to grab your stuff by faith. Oh my God. Somebody come in on this live, baby. Say, this is a faith walk. Mm. God told me a long time ago, God said, woman of God. He said, I am not moved by your emotions. Oh my God. God said, I don't care how many times you cry, foam at the mouth, roll, fall out all over the floor. God said, I am not moved by your emotions. God told me, God said, if you want to move me, if you want to stop me in my tracks, if you want to get my attention, God said, I need to see some faith. Do you understand me? Because God said, this is a faith walk. Y'all come in on this live, baby. I ain't playing this morning. I ain't playing this morning. I'm walking heavy. Do you understand me? I'm walking heavy up in this thing in morning glory. I ain't playing this morning because I came to snatch God people. Oh my God. I got on my spiritual combat boots on this morning. Do you understand me? I came to snatch God people out of the hands of the enemy. Devil, I command you to get your filthy hands. Glory be to God. Get y'all share this live if you ain't already shared it, baby. Everybody that's coming in right now, share this live because you got a sister, you got a brother, you got a mother, you got a father, you got a friend. You got a spouse. You got a child that need to hear this word. Do you understand me? They are in bondage, baby. Don't you sit around thinking these people are right because they are not all right. Do you understand me? God said the enemy, he got them chained up. Oh my God. They chained up. They so chained up, they got the hop to get around. Oh my God. But God said, tell my people I need them to come out. Oh my God. I speak to those chains that's got y'all bound on this morning. I declare and I decree that you shall be free. Oh my God. You coming out. Do you understand me? I feel like Jesus on this morning when he walked up to him and they told him Lazarus was dead. Glory be to God. He said, show me where you laid him. Oh my God. I'm speaking to you on this morning. Glory be to God. Rhonda Griffin, I hear the spirit of the living God say, come forth. Oh my God. Y'all know when Jesus spoke to Lazarus, he said, Lazarus, come forth. Glory be to God. Rhonda, the Lord is calling you forth on this morning. Rhonda, God said, come forth. Oh my God. Come forth. And God knew that he had to call that thing by name. Do you understand me? Because if he didn't say the name, if he would have just said, come forth, everything in that grave would have got up. Do you understand me? Everything would have got up because when it hear the master speak, it got to move. Oh, my God. Somebody come in on this live, baby, say, I got to move. Oh, when the master speak, you got to move. I don't care if it's dead. I don't care how long it been dead. Do you understand me? I don't care if it's dead and buried and stinking in the grave. When God speak to it, it got to get up. Glory be to God. And I'm speaking to y'all this morning. Do you understand me? Rhonda, I hear the spirit of the living God say, come forth. Glory be to God. Monica Marshall, I hear the spirit of the living God say, come forth. Oh my God. Come forth. Do you understand me? God said it's some chains that got you bound, woman of God. Oh my God. It's some chains that got you bound. bound. But I hear the spirit of the living God say, woman, thou art loose. Mm. Monica, God said, woman, thou art loose. Do you understand me? You are loose from that situation. Oh my God. You are loose from your infirmity. Oh my God. Because the master done spoke over your situation on this morning. Glory be to God. I hear the spirit of the living God say, come forth. Whew. Come forth. Oh my God. Come forth out of this dead situation. Oh my God. Come forth out of these chains that the enemy done had over you. I hear the chains of the, oh my God. I hear the chains falling. Mm. Can't you hear that, baby? I'm talking about in your spirit. Glory be to God. Because the Bible says that God is a spirit. Mm. And those that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Glory be to God. The Bible says must. Mm. Somebody come in on this live say must. Mm. M-U-S-T. Glory be to God must worship him. Oh my God. Not an option to worship him. Oh my God. But you must worship him in spirit and in truth. Meaning that you can't get nothing from God until you come out of this right here. Oh my God. You got to come out of this flesh. Do you understand me? You got to put all this stuff to the side. You got to throw the flesh to the side and you got to get in the spirit. Glory be to God. Because you got to know, baby, that you are not a body trying to have a spiritual experience, but you are a spirit. Glory be to God. You are the, you are from the spirit of the living God. Oh my God. You are a piece of God, baby. 
So you can never be disconnected from him. Oh my God. It don't matter where you go. Do you understand me? You can make your bed in hell. He's still there. Glory be to God. You can go into the deepest part of the ocean. Oh my God. God said you still can't run from me. Do you understand me? Somebody come in on this lie, baby. Say you can't run and you can't hide. Oh my God. You might as well surrender to him, baby. Because God said I got your name and I got your number. He said you can't run from me. Oh my God. That's why this thing keeps slow walking you down. Oh, my God. That's why you ain't been able to get no rest. Do you understand me? That's why you ain't been able to get no peace. Because you've been trying to run. Glory be to God. But I hear the spirit of the living God say, I'm slow walking you down. Oh, my God. Because God said, many are the plans in a man's heart. But the Lord's purpose for that man shall prevail. Glory be to God. God said, my purpose going to prevail over your life. You can go set all the plans you want to set. You can go make plans to go move to Africa. But God God said, my purpose for your life is going to prevail. Glory be to God. And I want to let you know when God speaks to you, God not only speaks to you, but God speaks to everything in your bloodline. Glory be to God. And God said, if you don't come forward with this, your children going to do it. Uh huh. Somebody going to do it. Do you understand me? Because God said, when I speak a word, that's law. Oh, my God. Y'all come in on this live, baby. Say, that's law. Mm. I done made up in my mind that my children ain't going to have to do they mama's work. Do you understand me? I'm going to work while it's day. Glory be to God. I got to work while the blood is running warm in my veins. Glory be to God. Because one day my father going to call me back home. Do you understand me? And I got to let my work speak for me. Glory be to God. I got to live so in the earth realm that I don't even need no tombstone. Glory be to God. God said, I want you to live so in this earth realm. He said, I want you to do so much work in my kingdom. He said, I want your name the whole weight. Glory be to God. God said, they ain't even got to give you no tombstone. Oh my God. Because God said, your name still going to be ringing in the earth realm. Glory be to God. He said, that's how I want you to live. Oh my God. I want you to live in me. God said, if you live in me, you will never be forgotten. Oh my God. If you live in God, baby, they can't, they can't forget you even if they try. Oh my God. They might have hate your guts, but they can't forget you. Oh, my God. Because your work going to speak for you. Glory be to God. A tree is known by the fruit that it bears. Do you understand me? It's time for us to start bearing some fruit. Oh, my God. We talking about a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. God said, my people doing a lot of talking. But he said, where is the fruit? Glory be to God. I'm looking for the fruit this morning. Y'all come in on this live, baby. Say, where is the fruit? Mm. I need y'all to drop them fruit emojis. Glory be to God. Go on your keyboard and find the emojis for the fruit, baby. I need y'all to drop that in the comments. Glory be to God. Drop that fruit emoji. Mm -hmm. Drop it, drop it, drop it. I don't care if you're going to watch this on the replay. I want you to still participate in what God is doing in your life. Glory be to God. Drop them fruit emojis, baby, because God said he looking for the fruit. Oh, my God. He said, where is the fruit? Do you understand me? I know a tree by the fruit that it bears. You telling me that you an apple tree. Mm -hmm. You telling me that you a plum tree, but I don't see no fruit. Glory be to God. Where is the fruit? The Lord says, I shall bless all of the work of thy hand. Mm. He said, I shall bless all of the work of your hand. But he said, when I come around to your tree, I ain't got nothing to bless because you ain't got no fruit. Glory be to God. What have you been doing, baby? Oh, my God. What have you been reading? Mm -hmm. What have you pro been producing? Because the spirit of the living God say, I need you to be fruitful. Oh, my God. I need you to be productive. Do you understand me? I need you to produce a product. Mm. I need you to take this gift that I done put on the inside of you. Why are you sleeping on this gift? Why are you sitting on this job, sleeping on this gift? I hear the spirit of the living God say, work your job if you must. But he said, you better take at least an hour every day and be in work on that fruit. Mm. He said, I need you to work on that fruit. Do you understand me? Somebody comment on this live, baby. Say, I'm working on my fruit. Whew, I got to manifest my fruit. Because if I don't manifest my fruit, I'm just another tree in the forest. Glory be to God. Y'all know when these folk pass away, we talk about them for two weeks, maybe three, and then you don't hear nothing else about them no more. Why? Because they didn't manifest any fruits. Glory be to God. When you leave fruit in the earth realm, baby, they can't forget you. Do you understand me? Your name going to always hold weight. Glory be to God. Y'all come in on this live, baby. So I got to produce my fruits. Mm. Let me tell you something. When you get ready to produce your fruits, you're going to have to move people out of your way. Glory be to God. Because God said, y'all got some trees standing around y'all that ain't going to never produce no fruit. Oh, my God. They ain't never going to produce nothing on their tree. And they don't want you to produce nothing. Nothing. You're going to have to move them people out of your way. Do you understand me? You're going to have to be like the woman that had the issue of blood. You're going to have to press your way. Oh my God. You're going to have to move these folks. Somebody come in on this live. Say move. Get out of my way.
Glory be to God. Get out my way. You ain't doing nothing. You ain't talking about nothing. You ain't producing no fruit. Get out my way. Because God getting ready to come back around to my tree. Oh, my God. I got to have some fruit on my tree for the master to bless. Mm. He told me that whatever I work on, he was going to bless it. But if I ain't working on that, he ain't got nothing to bless. Glory be to God. You think this stuff going to fall in your lap. Oh, my God. You think God going to microwave, pop, pop, bam, give you your stuff. When I done told you, God don't work like that. Glory be to God. He love you, baby, but you got to get up and work. Oh, my God. He said, I'm going to open up the door for you, but I ain't going to walk you through it. Come on, somebody. I'm going to open up the door for you, but he said, you're going to have to walk up in that thing. Glory be to God. Somebody comment on this line. Say, I'm walking. Woo. You're going to have to walk heavy too, baby, because guess what? It take courage to be blessed. Glory be to God. You got to have some boldness. Do you understand me? You got to be confident because every devil in hell coming after you. Do you understand me? Your haters coming after you. Your family members coming after you. God said, even the ones that's closest to you, even the ones that's supposed to love you, God said they're going to forsake you. Do you understand me? They will betray you. They're going to lie on you, baby. They're going to talk about you. You got to be bold. Glory be to God. You got to have courage to be blessed. Do you understand me? Because people don't want to see you blessed. Oh, my God. They don't want to see you come up. Do you understand me? They don't want to see you have nothing because they ain't got nothing. But you got to press. Oh, my God. You got to move these folks out of your way because you got to know if they ain't happy for you, that's because they chose to sit on their gift. Mm -hmm. See, they forgot that they got a gift just like you got one. Oh, my God. They going to hate on you because you decided to get up and do something with your gift. Uh huh. But they don't know they got the same gift. Oh, my God. They might not have the same one you got, but they can do something. Glory be to God. You got to move them out your way, baby. I came to tell you, if you like companionship, then God ain't for you. Oh, my God. If you got to have companionship, if you got to have somebody with you, God, so you're going to have to come out of that. Do you understand me? Because when you decide to put your hand to this plow, people are going to run away from you. Oh, my God. People are going to leave out of your life. Do you understand me? That's why Jesus began to tell them, let the dead bury the dead. Glory be to God. If they move out of your life, if God remove them, don't you go down the street chasing behind the trash truck. Glory be to God. Let the trash be in the trash. Do you understand me? Don't you run down there in that street trying to chase behind that trash. Let it go. Glory be to God. Somebody comment on this live, baby. Say, let it go. Mm -hmm. You got to let it go. Glory be to God. Because God has greater for you. Ooh, I told y'all on yesterday, baby, that your greater is coming. Ooh, somebody comment on this live, baby. Say, my greater is coming. Ooh, it's already here, Toya. I feel it right now. Glory be to God. It's coming. It's in the atmosphere. Oh, my God. All I got to do is reach up and grab it. Mm-hmm. All I got to do is reach up and grab my stuff. Glory be to God. If you able to, wherever you watching from right now, I need you to lay your phone down for just a moment. Glory be to God. God is speaking. Oh, my God. Lay your phone down, baby. Don't, but don't turn it off now. I still need you to be able to hear the lie. Glory be to God. Lay your phone down for a moment, and I want you to begin to reach. Oh, my God. Just start reaching in the atmosphere. Do you understand me? You might not understand what you're doing in the natural. Glory be to God. But God said he doing something in the spirit realm. Oh, my God. I need you to lift up your hands, baby, and begin to reach. Oh, my God. And when you reach, I need you to grab. Oh, my God. And when you grab it, I need you to pull it back down. Glory be to God. And God said, as you reach up and as you grab, mm, you grabbing your stuff. Oh, my God. You grabbing your blessing. Do you understand me? You grabbing your healing. Glory be to God. God says, some of y'all been battling with sickness. Oh, my God. You been battling with this sickness for a long time. Mm -hmm. Speak to that sickness on this morning. Glory be to God. I need you to reach up and grab your healing. Glory be to God. And I need you to snatch it down. Oh my God. Because the enemy got your healing like this. Mm -hmm. See, God and I already released your stuff. Oh my God. He released your stuff from heaven, baby. It's already yours, but you got to reach up and grab it. Glory be to God. Somebody comment on this live. Say, I'm reaching to you. Oh my God. I can't see you, baby, but I need you to tell me, is you reaching? Oh my God. Is you reaching for your stuff? Mm. You better not let nobody distract you now. I don't care if you own that job. They might look at you like you crazy, but you better reach. Oh my God. You better be reaching for your stuff. Glory be to God. They might be looking at you like you're crazy now, baby, but they ain't going to be looking crazy when your stuff start manifesting. Glory be to God. Because God said he getting ready to let the blessings rain down over your life. Glory be to God. But you got to reach up and grab it. Do you understand me? You got to reach up and grab Grab your stuff. You got to snatch it. Oh, my God. And God said, when you reach up and grab it, God said, them chains that's been on you like this, mm, them chains that had you in bondage. God said, when you make up in your mind, mm, and this is what the Lord just put in my spirit. My pastor used to tell us this all the time. Glory be to God. 
My pastor used to tell us this all the time. She said, if you ever notice, how do they train an elephant? Mm. She said, they take a, a chain and they tie him to a piece of concrete. Glory be to God. And when he's a baby, he's trying to pull away the elephants that they have at the circus. This is how they train them. Mm. They take the baby elephant and tie his leg to a piece of concrete. And, and, and as he's growing, he's trying to get away from that concrete. He's steady tugging on it. And he can't get away from it. He's steady tugging on it. And if y'all notice, when you see this big, huge elephant at the circus, they take a, a piece of string, glory be to God, a piece of rope, and they tie it to his leg, and they take a stick. Oh, my God. They take a stick, and they stick it in the ground, glory be to God, and that elephant will not move. Do you understand me? He stay right there. This big old huge animal, glory be to God, got the power to tear up that whole circus, and they can hold him with a stick in the ground, glory be to God. You know what it is, baby? It ain't that stick that's holding him, glory be to God. It's his mindset. Mm -hmm. It's the mindset. Do you understand me? His mindset remembers when he was in bondage, glory be to God. His mindset remembers when he was tied to that concrete as a baby and he think he can't go glory be to God but in reality the only thing that's holding him back is himself oh my God I came to tell you baby you just like that big old giant elephant oh my God the enemy got a rope around your leg and he put a stick in the ground glory be to God and you sitting there letting a stick hold you in the ground glory be to God when you got all this power do you understand me I feel the spirit of the living God oh my God you got all this power oh my God you got all this strength baby Baby, and you being held by a stick in the ground. Glory be to God. You being held in bondage by your mindset. Glory be to God. Y'all hang on one second. <laughs> hang on one second. Glory be to God. What are you letting hold you in bondage? You letting a stick in the ground hold you in bondage? God said, I think not. It's the mindset. Y'all comment on this live. Say, it's my mindset. Mm. I got to be free from my mind. Oh, my God. I got to be, I got to let this stuff go in my mind. I got all this power. I got all this strength. Glory be to God. And I'm letting the enemy keep me back by holding my mind in bondage. Mm. Because you remember when you was in bondage. Mm -hmm. You remember when you was in Egypt. But God said you're no longer there. Do you understand me? You are now free. Oh, my God. He whom the son says free is truly free indeed. But God said I done freed you. But he said now nah, you got to come out of that mindset. Glory be to God. Because until you come out of that that mindset, that stick gonna hold you in the ground. Glory be to God. That little bitty stick, oh my God, that don't even barely weigh an ounce, it's holding this big old massive animal to the ground. Do you understand me? Because it's not the stick, it's the mindset. You sitting around talking about, well, if I just didn't have this situation with my children, that's a stick in the ground. Glory be to God. You sitting around talking about, well, if, if things went better in my marriage, I can live for God. I can, no, baby, that's a stick in the ground. Glory be to God. That's a mindset. Do you understand me? You got to move, baby. You got to get up and just take off. And you're going to find out that that stick cannot hold you. Glory be to God. It ain't nothing but a stick in the ground. Some of you been using your sickness for an excuse. Well, Lord, I'm too sick. I can't make it. I can't do it. You can do something. Stop using that stick in the ground. Glory be to God. Stop using that stick as an excuse. You got to be free in your mind. Glory be to God. I hear the chains falling. The chains are falling off of you, baby. Do you understand me? Glory be to God. When y'all get off this live today, y'all know how we do. Mm -hmm. Y'all know how we do over here in morning glory. When you get off this live, make that post. Oh, my God. Make that post. Mm -hmm. Say, I am free. Oh, my God. I am free. I hear the chains falling. Oh, my God. I hear the chains falling off of me, and I am free. Glory be to God. He whom the Son sets free is truly free indeed. Oh, my God. I hear the Spirit of the Lord say, word it however you must. Mm -hmm. He said, word it however you want to, but God said, just make sure you say it. Glory be to God. Make sure you say, I am free. Mm. I hear the chains falling off of me. Glory be to God. I'm, I'm just like this big, huge elf. 
oh my God, I got all this power. Mm, I got all this strength and I'm letting this little bitty stick keep me in the ground. Glory be to God. I'm being held by a little stick in the ground. That's right, Jerry. I hear the spirit of the living God say, pull that stick up. Mm, pull that stick up. Do you understand me? God said, you ain't even got to pull it. All you got to do is take off. Oh my God. Y'all comment on this live, baby. Say, hashtag beast mode. Oh my God. Hashtag take off. Do you understand me? All you got to do is take off. And you're going to find out that that thing that you think been holding you captive, that thing that you think been holding you in bondage, God said it ain't got no power over you. It ain't nothing but a stick. Take off. Glory be to God. That's all that elephant got to do. All they got to do is take off. If he take off, baby, at that circus, they won't know what to do. They'll be like, whoa, what happened? What's going on? He just take off and he got the power to destroy everything at that circus. But he being held by a stick in the ground. Glory be to God. God said, take off, baby. When you take off, that stick going to fly left and right. <laughs> it going to be boggling all around you. You just going to be in the wind. Glory be to God. You going to be in beast mode. The devil ain't going to see you coming. He going to be like, where they came from? They came out of nowhere. No, baby, I woke up to who I was. Oh, my God. I woke up to my mindset. Do you understand me? I came to my right mind. You can't hold me in bondage with a stick in the ground anymore because I realized that I have power. Glory be to God. I realized that I am a child of the king. Mm -hmm. I realized that I am made in the image and in the likeness of God. And I got to be who God called me to be. Glory be to God. Don't y'all make no excuses for who God made you to be. Do you understand me? Don't you apologize to nobody for walking in your calling. If they don't accept it, move them out of your way. Glory be to God. I don't care who it is. Do you understand me? I don't care if it's mama. I don't care if it's daddy. I don't care if it's brother, sister, husband, wife. If they cannot accept you walking in your calling, you got to move them out your way. Uh, when you stand before God on that day, he ain't going to have no excuses. Do you understand me? God said there is no excuse. Glory be to God. Every day you wake up, I stretch forth my hand unto you. Slowly but tenderly, God is calling you. He said, behold, I stand at the door and I knock. Mm. He said, if any man, woman, boy, or girl will hear my voice, if you will open up to me, he said, I will come in. Oh my God. I will suck with you. Do you understand me? I will make ways out of no ways for you. I will save you. I will heal you. I will deliver you. Glory be to God. I hear the chains falling. Mm. Can't you hear that, baby? <laughs> Can't you hear that? I hear the chains falling. I'm free. <laughs> I'm free. Somebody say, if I could fly, baby, I'd be flying all over this place because I'm just that free. Glory be to God. You can't hold me in captivity no more. Mm. You can't hold me in bondage no more. I am free, baby. The truth hurt me, but it set me free. It hurt to realize that you had all this power and you were being held captive by a little stick in the ground. That hurt. I know that hurt. Mm -hmm. That hurt your intelligence to know that you let something that small hold you back. It hurt, but it freed you, baby. You free now. Oh, my God. God said, now you got to take off. Ooh, I need you to take off. Oh, my God. I need you to get in beast mode for God, baby. Because God said, the time ain't long now. You got to get in a hurry. Because God said, this is a spiritual emergency. Glory be to God. This is a 911 emergency in the spirit. God said, tell my people, I need them to get in their gift. He said, I need them to walk in purpose and I need them to get in a hurry. And I hear the spirit of the living God say, I'm finna let y'all go. I had to go a little harder this morning because the devil tried to throw me off. But I hear the spirit of the living God say, if not now, then when? If not you, then who? Who gonna do it? Glory be to God. If you don't break the curse, who gonna do it? If you don't do it right now, then when? You ain't got forever. <laughs> we didn't come down here to be here forever. Come on, somebody. We live like we ain't never gotta leave. You gotta come make your stamp on the world and be gone. Cause you ain't gonna be here forever. I'm making my stamp. And I encourage you to make yours. Don't you let nobody stop you. I don't care what they say. Glory be to God. I don't care what they say about you. You better, if that don't light a fire up under you, nothing will. Because you got to know, I ain't going to be here forever. I can't, I'm, God, I'm not going to live forever. My spirit is eternal, but I only got a certain amount of time in this flesh. God put me here for a purpose. I ain't coming to play. You got to get that in your mind and say, I'm not playing. You can say what you want to say about me, baby. I'm not playing. Glory be to God. When you think about how precious life is and how fragile life is and how quickly life can be gone. But we sit here and we worry 
and we stress over what people say about us. We worry and we stress over how we're going to be perceived, how people are going to look at us. How are they going to receive us? What are our family members going to say? What if I lose out on this person? What if this person walks out on me? What if they forget them people? <laughs> Glory be to God. I ain't trying to be rude or ugly, but I'm y'all know why I mean. Y'all know what I'm saying. Forget that. You ain't got time to worry about that. Let the dead bury the dead. And if it's meant for you, they gonna come back. They gonna come back. You can never lose out on people by chasing God. Never. He won't allow it to happen. If you drop everything to chase him, God ain't going to let nothing slip through the cracks. Do you understand me? Understand what I'm saying to you today, my love. If you make up in your mind that you're going to chase God, he ain't going to let nothing or nobody slip through the cracks. He going to seal up the cracks in your life. Do you understand me? And everything that's meant for you going to run you down. Glory be to God. As you run God down, it going to run you down. And if it ain't meant for you, it's going to scatter. Oh my God. It's going to scatter like roaches when you turn on the light. Do you understand me? If it ain't meant to be in your life, when you start chasing God, it's going to scatter. And I hear God say, don't you run behind that mess. Glory be to God. Let the dead bury the dead. You got to stay focused. Somebody come in on this live say, I got to stay focused. You know what's the number one reason why people are not successful. You know the number one reason why people don't succeed. God, is, God said it's because they cannot stay focused. They lose their focus and they get off track. They set out to do something, then something catch their attention and they like, ooh. And next thing you know, they gone. They done forgot about that. They done forgot about what God said, but God said, I hear, I hear the spirit of the living God say, you got to stay focused. You got to keep your eyes on the prize. Do you understand me? Because there is a prize for you. God got a prize for you, baby. He got a crown that he want to put on your head. Glory be to God. But you got to stay focused. I love y'all so much. I love you so much. Um, go to my website, LatoyaOkeaMinistries.com. Uh, one of my divine ones, y'all drop that in the comments for me, please. LatoyaOkeaMinistries.com. Y'all go to the website. When you go to the website, you can do everything there. You can order your books. You can order Divine Destiny Prayer Journal. And you can order Beast Mode. If you have received your book, please send me a picture of you with your book so I can add it to my website. Um, I love when y'all send me those pictures. I love it. So go to Latoya Okia Ministries. Y'all gonna hear my baby in the background. Ma, ma, ma. <laughs> It's uh, 5.30. I have no idea why he's up. <laughs> but y'all go to LatoyaOkeaMinistries.com and um, you can buy your books. I am a professional life coach, so you can also book a one-on-one -on -one session with me on the website. I do have a monthly mentorship program. You can also sign up for that on the website, LatoyaOkeaMinistries.com. The monthly mentorship program is $10 a month, and you receive daily devotional emails from me. You receive access to the private Facebook group, and you receive two weekly group coaching sessions. Two weekly group coaching sessions. It's LatoyaOkeaMinistries.com, okay? LatoyaOkeaMinistries.com. So we have our next, we're having our next session tonight at 8 p.m. Central. 8 p.m. Central. So if you would like to jump in on that session, come on and join. It's only $10 a month and you get so much value. So it's only $10 a month. Y'all come on and join us and you can hop in tonight and get on our group session tonight at 8 p.m. Central. If you purchase the mentorship program anytime between now and our session tonight, make sure you inbox me so I can make sure I get you on the session tonight. Okay? Make sure you inbox me. So... When you sign up, it's going to automatically send you the information that you need to have. But I need you to reach out to me as well so we can double seal that and make sure that you are able to catch the session tonight. Okay? So I love y'all so much. Listen to an episode of my podcast. It's called Divine Destiny with LaToya. You can also do that on the website, LatoyaOkeaMinistries.com. If you would like to sow a seed, if the Lord has moved upon your heart to sow a seed, then you can do that through Cash App. Hashtag the divine ones 2020 inbox me. I'll send you that information or you can do it through the website. Okay. There's a, a link on the website to any of you that would like to sow a seed. 
Yes. Jerry says she's excited about our session tonight. Nigel says it's worth it. It really is worth it, y'all. It really is worth it. For $10 a month, you're getting two weekly group coaching sessions. You're getting emails, personal emails from me every day, okay? So y'all take advantage of it. Take advantage of it. Um, Brenda, Brenda, thank you so much for tuning in from Botswana. Wow. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you too. I love you too. So mommy duties call. <laughs> Y'all, my baby, he called me like the, um, Stewie, <laughs> Stewie from Family Guy. This is, this is him. Ma, mama, ma, mummy, mummy, ma, mama, mama, mama. And then the mom is like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and he don't want nothing. So that's that's my situation. That's what I'm dealing with over here. But I count it all joy. It's a blessing. It's an honor to be here, to be able to work with you guys, to be able to do work in the kingdom. And I don't have to leave my children. We all one big happy family over here. God is so faithful. So I want to tell y'all that if you are uh, worried about how you're going to work in your purpose, you got kids, you got to... God will work it out for you. Do you understand me? Because I used to be that mom that was always trying to find a babysitter, could never get a babysitter, daycare clothes, going through this, going through that, just a hot mess, having to leave a job. I got to contact my supervisor, get her to approve my leave request. I got to go run down here and get these babies from the daycare because somebody's sick, somebody this, somebody that. I'm like, Lord, have mercy. But look at God. <laughs> Look at how faithful God is, baby. Now I can sit here and work in my kitchen. My baby's right here in a bedroom. If they get sick, anything happen to them, mama right here. Mm -hmm. I got my whole business right here in the house and I'm doing kingdom work and God is taking care of me. So I want to tell y'all that there is hope. There is, all you got to do is keep the faith. Because God going to take care of you. You don't, And you don't need nobody to take care of you. God will take care of you. You tell God what you need, and he going to get it for you. You don't need nobody to buy you no shoes. Come on, somebody. I don't know why God got me saying this, but I'm going to say it. You don't need nobody to pay your bills. You don't need nobody to buy you no shoes. You don't need nobody to buy you no weed. You buy your own weed, and you pay your own bills. God will take care of you. Glory be to God. Somebody comment on this live. Say, God, take care of me. If I want a new wig, I tell my father. <laughs> I tell my father, and my father will get me a new wig. Matter of fact, he just got me one. Y'all contact Jasmine Latoya if you want your wigs and your lashes. That's who, that's who, that's who keep me on point now. God keep me on point. Y'all contact my divine one, Jasmine Latoya, for your wigs and your lashes. Jasmine owns, uh-huh. But whatever I want something, I tell my father. And he get it for me. He make a way to get it for me. Do you understand me? God is faithful. God will take care of you. Glory be to God. If you get all up in his business, baby, I'm a witness. Do you understand me? If you be about your father's business, God gonna get all up in your business. Oh my God. He got all up in my business, baby. Do you understand me? Because I dropped the business of the world. I had to let that mess go. Do you understand me? And I be, and I started being about my father's business. I started working for God, folks. Do you understand me? I started loving God, folks, with a pure love. I ain't talking about that fake love now. I'm talking about that pure love. Oh my God. I'm talking about real love. Y'all come in on this live, say real love. Y'all know y'all can feel it when somebody operating from real love and when they being fake. Glory be to God. When I let God purify me and I started operating from real love, I do this with a love from my heart. Glory be to God. I do it with love from my heart, baby. Because I have a love for God's people. And I have a love for God. And because I got about my father's business, God took care of my business. Now I don't even have to worry about that. I ain't even got to worry about that. All I got to do is do the work. Glory be to God. All I got to do is come up here and show up with y'all. Do you understand me? All I got to do is be faithful. All I got to do is do the work of the kingdom. Because when you seek the kingdom of God first, glory be to God. God said that's the problem. He said, woman of God, you were seeking everything else. Glory be to God. God said you were seeking love in all the wrong places. Do you understand me? This is what he, tell, this is what he told me now. He said you were seeking love in all the wrong places. But God said when you drop all that mess, mm -hmm. when you came out of Egypt, and you came on into the kingdom. Glory be to God. When you got about my business, he said, I got all up in your business. Because mm -hmm. God is a gentleman. 
Glory be to God. He's a gentleman. Do you understand me? You got to give him permission. Oh, my God. He ain't going to bust the door down, come in, and take over your life. You got to give him permission. Glory be to God. When you say, Lord, I allow you to come in, I surrender. Mm, I surrender unto you. Glory be to God. When you drop that mess from your past and you leave it in the past, when you let the dead bury the dead and you surrender unto God, that's when he come in. Oh, my God. That's when he come in. Baby, God come in. God will show you. I seen somebody at LaShawn say agape love. Glory be to God. He will come in and he will show you agape love. Do you understand me? Oh my God, no greater love. I don't care how much they tell you they love you. Can't nobody do you like Jesus. Do you understand me? No greater love than a man have that he would lay down his life for his friends. God laid down, he sent his son to lay down his life for you. And God said, if they can't love you like that, they don't deserve you. Glory be to God. They ought to love you as Christ loved the church. <laughs> I love y'all so much. Let me go tea into this child of mine. <laughs> uh, Lucille, thank you so much for watching from Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, y'all drop y'all locations. I love drop y'all location. I love to see where everybody is watching from. Y'all drop y'all's locations so I can know where you're watching from. All my people, I love y'all so much. And if you're a first time watcher, let me know if this is your first time watching. And I need you to come on back. <laughs> make sure you go to my personal profile and hit uh, follow. And make sure you follow me and turn on your notifications. So that you can get these notifications every time I go live. Okay? Every time I'm live. Every weekday, Monday through Friday. 4.30 a.m. Central Time. 5.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Okay? Okay? 5.30 Eastern. Hey, Rhonda, I love you so much in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm sending all my love and all my prayers unto you. I love you so much, Rhonda. I hope to see you tonight in the session. Uh, Jasmine LaToya, I love you so much. In Dothan, Alabama, that's my neighbor. I love you, Stacy, in Blakely, Georgia. I love you, Melissa Denise in Daytona Beach. I love y'all. I love you, Deborah Ann. I love you so much. I love you, Brenda Denise. I love you, Tamika Peterson Hamilton in Bainbridge, Georgia. I love you, Miss Danita Sauls in Columbus, Georgia. I love you, Miss Danita. I love you, Linda Hampton in Bainbridge, Georgia. <laughs> okay, I'm coming, baby. I love you, Tanya in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I love you, Ayana. I love y'all so much. Love you, Najee. I love you, Jay Michelle in Fort Gaines, Georgia. Love you, Fudge Praise in Brunswick, Georgia. Yes, come on and join us in the mentorship program. You will love it. I promise you, you'll love it. You'll love it. Okay. So this has been Latoya O'Kill, your life coach and your motivational speaker. He done got up out of the bed, y'all. My baby like, what's going on? <laughs> so I love y'all so much. Y'all be blessed, okay? If you're watching from the YouTube channel, yes, Tasha. He said he hungry. <laughs> he said he hungry at 5.43 in the morning. <laughs> He's hungry. So mommy duty calls. I will see y'all tomorrow. And I'll see you tonight if you're in the mentorship program, okay? So y'all be blessed. Um, if you're going to watch this from YouTube, make sure you subscribe now. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell notification so you can be notified every time I upload, okay? Yes, Ayana, I got to go feed little man. I got to go feed him. He's very picky. He don't like to eat a lot of stuff. He's a very picky eater, so... I have to feed him what he'll eat. <laughs> so this has been Latoya O'Kill, your life coach and motivational speaker. Y'all be blessed. See y'all in the morning.